I'm great, thank you. How are you? Absolutely brilliant. Uh, Dawn of the Dreamer, how long did it take to come up with this idea? Um, it didn't take very long to come up with the idea, but the actual book took a good maybe two years to write and get ready to publish. So, Is this your first book? Yeah, it's my debut novel, but it's the first um, in the Dreamer trilogy. So there's two more books to follow. Um, J.K. Rowling, have you contacted her for uh, any advice? <laughs> I have not, but I do follow her on Twitter. <laughs> oh, you do? <laughs> yeah, you, I do. Are you getting inspiration out of her? I do. I love her series, her Harry Potter series, so yes, I do. So Dawn of the Dreamer, um, where's, the, where's the inspiration? What's the idea behind the book? Give us a snapshot. All right, a snapshot. It's set in the future in 2023. Um, people's dreams are no longer created by the subconscious, but they're created by a multi-million dollar corporation mm -hmm. using a product called a wrist cuff. Mm -hmm. And the wrist cuff is worn over a microchip implanted in a person's wrist. Mm -hmm. um, but there's some people that it doesn't work on and they're called dreamers. Mm -hmm. So it follows the story of Amelia, who is a dreamer, and she meets someone who sort of reveals the lies and secrets surrounding the wrist cuffs and she has to decide whether to fight for her dreams or to remain bound by a controlled society. Is this character based on someone that you know or is it you? She has parts of me in her yeah, um, and probably parts of who I was when I was younger in her. Yeah. But um, loosely. What about your two kids? Based, what about they, they must do things around the house and you go, oh, there's something I've got to write about. Well, they're three and five, <laughs> so I hope that's... Uh, she's 22, so I hope she's not doing things that three and five-year-olds do. No, no, but, but I mean, what, whatever your ki little kids do, there's got to be little things that they would do that you could actually... Um, draw bring, upon. Well, draw upon to, to use yeah. in the book as in other characters as well. Yeah, I'm sure there are. I think I take a little bit of everyone around me and put them into my characters. Do people, do your friends get a bit worried? It's like, oh, I'm not going to, I don't want to do anything around you because you got to talk about me. <laughs> you got to write about me. Well, some of them have got little cameos in the books, and but they're pretty happy with what with what I've said. So, with their not you used you didn't use their real names, did you? You gave them aliases, didn't you? Oh, well, I use their names. Oh, but for characters, they're very small characters in the book. Oh, okay then. They're pretty chuffed with that. Yeah, they're pretty happy with that. How do you find time, mum of two, as you say, three and five, to write books? I write at night when they're all asleep. I wait for my husband and my children to go to sleep, and I sit down and have peace and quiet and write. Can't you do it during the day? Because it's really, you don't do anything during the day. You know, looking after kids, feet <laughs> I just up, isn't it? I chase a three-year-old around all day. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried. It doesn't work very well. <laughs> What's harder, looking after or raising children or writing? Raising children. <laughs> <laughs> I think writing comes a bit more naturally to me. And what does your husband do? How does he help? What, what's his line of work? Um, he's um, a mechanical fitter. He can't help much with the book writing side, but he helps a lot with the kids. He's been very supportive. It's been great. Is uh, like Calliope a good uh, breeding ground for, uh, for inspiration, good ideas area? Yeah, it is. Um, it's very social out there. So I think, you know, just talking to all different types of people from all different walks of life out there. You can draw on a lot of different people's stories. Well, yep. I, all I can wish you is all the best of the success. Um, Thank you very much. People uh, can actually go and pick up this Dawn of the Dreamer. I suppose you can get it online. You can get it all good bookshops around the place as well. But um, the trilogy, I can just, I can see you destined to be another J.K. Rowling and have this. You can see this book in a movie, can't you? You can just vision um, it now. That would be nice one day. We'll see how we go. <laughs> we got to go back on. We got to reflect on this conversation in fifteen years' time. And that sounds great. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All the best for the uh, the success of this one and everything that's going to come from it. Okay. Thank you very much.